I'm going to talk about something today which I see so few entrepreneurs talking about in the online space, but it's actually a really important conversation to be having, and that is why you shouldn't only be investing in your business and be putting all your money towards mentors, programs, courses, whatever that is, and all of those learnings. I am always someone who I've never ever wanted to be in a position where I need to choose between hiring a mentor or actually investing with myself in terms of stock market, actually my own personal investments. And I think it's really, really important to find a balance of doing both. And I see, as I said, no one talking about this in the online space of actually not just investing in the mentors, investing in the actual business, but investing in yourself as a person as well. And I think that's what helps you to be so sustainable in your business as well. And the fact that I do both of these is why I'm on track to hit six figure net worth at the age of 25 because I do both of these things and I've really prioritized both of these things and I always have in my business. I think it's really easy for us obviously to have conversations around, you know, investing in programs and investing in mentors in the online space because obviously, you know, a lot of us are those people who have clients investing in them, right? Um, but this is a really important thing. Yes, it helps to really grow your business. It helps to build that income that's coming in in the first place. And I think that is really important. But for me, it's really been a lot of the personal investments that I've made that have created a lot of the freedom that I started my business for in the first place. They've created a lot of the financial security. These are the things that actually mean that I'm not stressed about how much money I'm making next month. I'm not stressed about the sales I make if I don't hit my sales goal because it doesn't matter because I'm okay regardless. And, you know, it's really great having the high cash months and hitting those really big numbers and everything. But I think it's a whole other conversation around actually keeping money from your business and not just having the really high cash months and investing all of it and, you know, hiring all the programs, the mentors, all of those things, but actually not having any money that you're keeping for yourself and actually building any real personal wealth and building any personal investments as well. And I think that is such a powerful thing, which so many people are missing out on just because we don't talk about it at all in the online space. So I wanted to be the one to talk about that. And as I said, I think that's the thing which creates just a lot of freedom for you because you're really then not dependent on needing a high cash month to actually just survive in your life or just thrive and just live the life that you're actually wanting to live. You're not dependent on this. It means that you don't need this. It's not out of necessity. It's out of great. That would be really exciting. That sounds really fun, but we're not just requiring it to pay the bills and to actually live. But I think it's really important to, you know, talk about, yes, hiring the mentors and also investing in yourself. And actually that has really always been my vision in my business of being able to do both of these things. So even when I was starting, I did both of these on a much smaller level to what I do today, but I really prioritized both of these things. And I think really if you're in a position where you're not able to invest in your business, you're not able to invest in savings and, you know, your own personal things at the same time, really focus on this because this is where you find the freedom and it can be really hard to actually have a sense of freedom if you're not doing both of these things because you're essentially, you know, on paper doing really, really well, but then you're requiring your business to continue doing really well and you can't survive potentially. This could be the thing which, you know, um, sends the business, you know, into a ruin essentially having one really bad month when actually it's okay having one bad month if you've got that buffer built up, if you've got, you know, that personal security built up, it's okay if you have some of those months. So I think it's really powerful actually just having that conversation and just thinking about, you know, how can you just set yourself up for really sustainable success in your business and really just, um, you know, long-term wealth essentially that you're building from your business, not just investing in mentors and investing in programs, but investing in yourself for real this time as well. So that is why I truly believe you shouldn't only be investing in your business, you should actually be investing in yourself as well as a person and actually building up some, you know, income, some money behind yourself as well um, for actually creating freedom in your business. It doesn't just come from the business itself, it comes from what you're doing with that income as well to actually build that freedom for yourself. So if you found this video helpful, if you want more around these conversations, definitely give this video a like below and subscribe so you don't miss the daily videos I'm putting out at the moment. And on that note, I will see you in the next video tomorrow.